Hey traders and investors, welcome to today's YouTube Live, the Study Trader video. Well, a couple weeks ago, I made a video on gold, and my main message was that gold remains very much in a range bound sort of environment. I also said that, in my opinion, uh, gold remains and is one of the most difficult assets uh, to trade. And so, what I want to show you today is that the move last week in gold was actually worth respecting, both in absolute terms, in other words, gold itself. But actually, even more importantly, the relative chart, gold versus, say, something like stocks or maybe even like bonds. Now, I always talk about these relative charts, right? You want to see if a stock, for example, is acting relatively well versus its sector or a sector is acting relatively well versus the broader market. You can do the same thing with other assets or other classes like, like uh, gold. And by the way, I'm wearing my b reversal shirt today. That's one of the main indicators that we use with uh, with clients so let's have a look at the chart and i'll show you guys i guess three charts to kind of get uh, our head around what's going on here in the price of gold so here we are um here is the chart of the gld etf and the gld etf is essentially trying to mimic the price of gold spot gold i guess and it, it i guess it does a pretty good uh, pretty good job at that so we're going to use that for the most part um what you can see here is uh if you were to look at gold here this is a weekly chart by the way weekly increments you look back uh this chart dates all the way back to 2006 or stretches back to 2006 and really the stock or gold hasn't done anything since about mid the midpoint of 2011 and i remember people being very very giddy up here for gold uh, and of course Classically, I always talk about a stock, or in this case, a, 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 a metal that has a very steep rally, and ultimately that rally goes vertical. And then, of course, you know the upside tends to be capped. We have an indicator for that as well. But uh, essentially, gold has not done anything since 2011 on the upside. It's all it's done is go down and tread sideways. But it has done some better price action since about let's call it 2014. It started to kind of build out this base. This is purely technically. In the meantime, gold has managed to sort of establish itself above that red line, which is a 200-week moving average. But all in all, you can see gold remains very much in this sort of uh, choppy, I guess, sideways range. Now, ultimately, this sort of inverse head and shoulders pattern, if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it for right now, does look like it could resolve to the upside. We're seeing some moving averages crossing above each other. So let's have a little bit of a closer look into this and see what it looks like. And if you see, if you look at this a little bit more closely, you'll see that last week's move, and again, this is a weekly chart, of the, uh, of the price of gold did give us this sort of outside bullish reversal and we're potentially breaking out of this sort of pennant or consolidation period, whatever you want to call that, bull flag, doesn't really matter. I think those names are way overrated. So there is a, a case to be made that one could see the next upside price target somewhere around 130 on the GLD, okay, which is not that far. It's only a couple percent more. Maybe even, you know, we could start trickling towards the mid 130s, which is about five, six percent higher. Now that's nice to see, but I always like to see what gold or any asset class or any stock or any index is doing uh, versus something else so let's have a look at gold and divide it by the s p 500 the spy etf and what you can see here again let's have a look at the big picture you can see gold has massively underperformed the uh, s p uh, stocks basically since 2011 right same period that we just talked about before but if you look at this a little bit more closely even though it's still a choppy range again that blue zone that i just uh, uh marked the chart with you can see we're still trotting sideways but you could make the case that that relative move last week was noteworthy. You can see that relative breakout. Again, that's this, that's, this green bar is last week's move is breaking the, the ratio, right? Gold versus the S&P past some diagonal resistance. Now, again, I reiterate, we remain in a, in, a, in a choppy sideways range, but this is not uninteresting to see. You can also do gold divided by, say, a bond price, this long-term bond. Just to give you an example here, too. We're seeing a consolidation period, and maybe that's something that we could ultimately see uh, resolve to the upside. So uh, for me, if I look at the price of gold or the GLD here, um, I do think it's worth it. It's, it's interesting. Um, any follow through here would certainly increase the chances of seeing 130 and maybe 135 over the over the next um, let's let's uh, let's say maybe the next few uh, weeks, maybe the next few months. Gold 
is, again, it can trade very choppy, so uh, I wouldn't uh, put too much into a trade like this, but I hope this helps, folks. Again, gold looks like it's acting a little better. Tread with care, and remember to trade steady and trade wise, and I'll see you guys in the next YouTube Live.